We're using this, uh... We're using this, uh... Da -da -da, uh... <laughs> Tinkaton team that I actually released the showdown live for uh, just today, the day that I made the team in game. Uh, but it, it worked really well, so I'm hoping we can do well within the ladder. Let's let's just hit the ladder with it. The rental code for this will drop on Sunday as always, but let's see what we can do. All right. Oh, that is not the button. All right, but yeah. Let's see. Uh, this is interesting. It's like they have one, two, three fake out users. <laughs> I have no idea what this team does, but Tinkaton unironically goes hard, like in every situation here. Like, look at their Tinkaton matchup. I have never found a team that loses to Tinkaton specifically, but I think I found it. Uh, maybe I'm, I might lose, you know? Maybe I'll just like straight up lose. Um, but I like the Rotom lead as well. Rotom lead feels very solid here. In the back, we'll do Garchomp. And I quite like Murkrow for Tailwind, but it might be like a Trick Room team. I don't know. I do outspeed like most of the team. Do I want Murkrow? I don't think I do. I think I just go Goldango. All right. Armor Rouge Weavile. Uh, this is actually probably the best possible outcome for me. I think I always just go for Fake Out into the Armor Rouge. And I can try to Nasty Plot up. I doubt I get it off, but I just try anyways. They may Fake Out my, uh, my Tinkaton. No, they don't. Okay, looks like they don't Fake Out anything then. Oh, that did a lot. Did they crit? Or they might just be choice banded. That could be a thing. Ooh, they might just be choice banded. I think they're just choice banded. Um, luckily, I know I outspeed their armor rouge. So I could just drop the hammer on the Weavile, but I think it's probably better just to actually go for Rock Tomb. And then have Rotom drop the hammer next turn. No, wait. Oh, wait, that's probably choice banded. That sucks. Do I live? Oh, it's very close. I kind of just have to sack, don't I? I kind of just have to sack. That might be choice banded. Yeah, because it shouldn't be doing that much damage. Well, this definitely KOs. Yeah, if they're not sash, they're banned. They go for Heat Wave, I'm going to dodge it. You can tell just by the uh, <laughs> the little pause there. But I actually like that. That's that's like a really decent outcome. Um, I like Goldango here because I can protect and Rock Tomb. Amat. Yeah, I'm going to Rock Tomb. Actually, maybe... Wait, are they going to... Mm, are they going to Revival Blessing? I feel like they shouldn't. But they might. Let's just Rock Tomb Armor Rouge and Protect. Because I'm actually not concerned about the damage that it can do here. Alright, they're going to Terra, so I feel like they didn't revive a blessing. They're Terra Dark. Okay, I'm cool with this then. Looks like they're trying to prevent getting Shadow Balled, so I'd imagine they were just going to go for another Heat Wave. Let's see if they fake out. No fake out. Um, can I eat? Maybe. Alright, get the Rock Tomb off. Not that it matters that much, I just wanted to make sure, like, it wasn't actually faster than me. Uh, and I think here, Make It Rain, Terra Steel isn't a bad play at all.
Actually, I gigaton hammer to ensure I get the KO. Even though these are both resisted hits, this is like too much damage. What if they're assault vest? <laughs> what if they're assault vest? That'd be so annoying. This is life orb, so it's actually like one of the stronger make it rains. Close combat. All right. If it's not Sash, it's not taking this well at all. And I don't think that uh, I don't think it lives now because uh, the uh, armorage doesn't have a resistance. This should hurt. Oh yeah, that's that good stuff. I got a crit on the Palm Bot. It's probably Focus Sash though. Okay, yeah, I can live with that. Obviously, I'm at minus one. I don't know how much this matters. I just like protecting an Earthquake, really. They didn't Revival Blessing, so I'm not really concerned. Oh, yeah. No, no. I just I just protect an Earthquake. <laughs> I, I literally just protect an Earthquake. We're good. This was an interesting first game. So It's a pretty cool team, though. Yeah, because I mean, like, regardless of what they do here, they can't, like, paralyze my, um, my Garchomp. I guess they could try to Revival Blessing the, uh, they could, like, try to protect in Revival Blessing and get, like, the Weavile in, but I don't know if that would win them the game. The Spiky Shield, that's fine. What if they Revival Blessing here? That'd be so crazy. Could you imagine? I didn't even know this thing got Spiky Shield. That's so cool. Alright, this thing's gone. Nice. A whole one damage. Alright, and I mean, like, I'm just gonna Dragon Claw, why not? It doesn't make a difference. Nice. Good game. Make it range to drop minus two special attack. I don't know if I agree with that because in doubles, it, it, for one, it's weaker than Draco Meteor. And in doubles, the damage is actually reduced quite a bit. I think I would prefer if it was minus two because it would balance it out a little bit more. But also, but also it might, it might be like bad in singles if they like did that. I don't know. All right. Quiv. Uh, looks like a kind of a cool team. Actually, we're facing a Tinkaton mirror, dude. Imagine being the only two Tinkaton players on the ladder, and you just face off. That's what this is right now. We're the only two Tinkaton players on the entire game. Okay. Um, Berloom would be really good if they didn't have Psychic Terrain. I think my Murkrow is pretty objectively important here. And I think I lead off with... Um... Actually, I think I lead off with like Sash Berloom because it at least gives me an opportunity to like put Armor Rouge to sleep. And then I go like this in the back. So no tank a ton this game. We are literally the only two Tinkaton players in the ladder. Oh, that's kind of a banger card. What? Did you guys see that card? 
Think of him, Yasgarada. Great minds think alike. I'm probably faster than you. Hmm. I think I always Tailwind and I Protect here. Yeah. Cool. Called the Protect correctly, or the Fake Out correctly. Get my Tailwind off. I don't know what this Meowskarada is going to want to do, to be honest. I really hope it's not Protean. That looks like it's Protean. Okay. Uh, good news is I can put it to sleep now, which is actually really good. Probably Choice Band as well. So let's get in the... Uh, I think I get in the Garchomp and I can actually Sword Stance. It's a little risky, though. Maybe I get in Rotom and Nasty Plot. What do they have in the back? Rotom might be safer. Yeah. Let's get in the Rotom and let's put the Meowskarada to sleep now that it's a fairy. Because it's stuck as a fairy. Also, it's probably Choice Banded, so that's another plus. Player is going to bring me down my sash. That's fine. Um, do I want to spore again? And I think I just do it. Yeah, here, let's do this. Uh, I'm actually going to go for Nasty Plot. And I'm going to spore the Tinkaton because they're usually Assault Vest. They might be faint. They could actually pick up a K on me right here. No, they're going to switch out. I don't think they have a Grass type. Yeah, that's going to go to sleep. It'd be so cool if this Meowskarada stayed asleep. Okay, yeah, that's sick. Because I have a guaranteed turn of sleep on this Rotom now. So what I can actually do is double the Meowskarada to always pick up a KO. Because it's not that it's not that bulky. It should drop to the double up. They withdraw the Rotom. I heavily disagree with that play. Tink a ton? Okay, I'm just going to protect again. Yeah, and I didn't think that would actually just KO. How much is this going to do? One. Two. Eh, not bad. 75 base power move, basically. Tailwind's gone. Unfortunate. I always just protect here. I, they might have faint, who knows. But I think it's always, like, Terra time. I'm fairly certain it's always just Terra time. And I protect here. Actually, there's no reason to protect. What am I doing? I'm pro I'm I there's psychic terrain up. I don't know. What All right, I won. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I forgot the psychic terrain was up. All right, uh, let's get one more game. I think maybe two. We'll do two more games and then I'll do that team review and then we'll we'll end off the stream. It depends how long this last game is. For all we know, we could do the full 20 minutes. We're climbing, though. We're climbing, like, pretty hard. Because we start off, like, rank 5,000 today. Tanner. Is this Tanner Mask? Whenever I see Tanner on ladder, I'm like, oh, it's Tanner Mask. This looks like a Tanner Mask team. It does. This does look like a Tanner Mask uh, special. Huh. Um. Do I like Tinkaton here? I like Rotom quite a bit. Rotom is actually super scary for this guy. They also don't have Fake Out unless it's Fake Out on the uh, on the Grim Snarl. So I like the Murkrow lead. I like my own Garchomp, and I actually like Breloom. Let's do it. Breloom's such a sleeper pick this gen. Like I know that it's like not a sleeper pick because we all know it's good, but it's like 
a lot of people are more inclined to like put a uh they're more inclined to put like a, a, a an Amoongus on their team most of the time, but if you're playing like hyper offense, like Berloom isn't that bad of an option. It's a fast uh, spore user. All right. Is loaded dice any good? You get much more value out of uh, out of focus sash. Dragonite, Arcanine, that's pretty much the only lead I wanted. That is pretty much the lead I wanted. I just go for the Will-O-Wisp here. And I try to Tailwind. I love Arcanine's new, like, intense pose. He's, like, really getting in there. All right, I'm max defense Eviolite Murkrow. You think I take this E-Speed? You guys think I take this E-Speed? It's kind of iffy. I actually don't know if I take it. Oh, they double E-Speeded, hello? Wait, that's, that's illegal. Wait, that's illegal. Why would you do that? <laughs> I hate it here. That's kind of heat though, I can't lie. I cannot tell lie, that's very heat. Uh, my Breloom is not going to get me much value here. I suppose I try it. Am I going to get, like, just swept by this? I might get swept by this. How it feels to not have a freaking, uh, what's it called? This is, this is how it feels to not have a, uh, stupid freaking thingy. The, the good, the good move that helps you not lose to this. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Check out this epic gamer play. Wait, I never do that. What am I doing? I go for the double protect. And I foul play. I get... I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Check this out. They're going to double it because they know I'm Focus Sash. They hit the Murkrow? They hit the Murkrow? But I'm Focus Sash! I feel like it's like a given. I feel like that's just a given, isn't it? Okay, they should be in range of Mach Punch. But wow, I didn't expect that. And I protect here, yeah. I'm gonna get swept by E-Speed this game. All they have to do is actually double the, the guy now. Now they just have to actually double it. That's the turn you don't use it? Of all the turns? Interesting. Of all the turns to not use it, that was not the one I thought they wouldn't. Alright, don't burn me. I'll cry. I'll cry. Okay, we're good. Tailwind's gone, that kind of sucks. Um, I mean, I can always just... Oh, wait, no, I think they're in trouble here. I think they're in trouble here. They kind of used up a... They kind of used up a very valuable resource. Let's hit him with that Nene. Yeah, Orange Steve will do the team review right before I end the stream. This should do a ton. Stream speed. Oh, they really wanted to get that Breloom. Sucker Punch, that's not KOing me. That does a lot, though. Wow. 
All right, I think that will always knock it in range now because your life orb and you took rough skin. I think regardless of what's in the back, it's pretty hard to lose from this position. Oh, it lived? Ew, okay. Um, Not the end of the world, actually. Not the end of the world. Mock Punch is quite useful. Garchomp. Oh, it's going to be one of these games. Yeah, it's going to be one of these games. Um, Please don't protect. <laughs> That's all I'd say. Please don't protect, I guess. All right, block the sucker punch. Listen, um, I, I might die. I might die here. Come on. All right, I go first. Please KO. Nope. Okay, we lose because they're just going to Earthquake. Oh, man. That was like a really annoyingly close one, wasn't it? Yeah. No, Spore Protect wouldn't have been better there because uh, Garchomp outspeeds my Breloom, uh, which means it would have KO'd the Breloom. Uh, so it would have just lost me the game anyways. I kind of had to go for it. All right, let's do one more. That was like a really close one. Uh, to be fair, I think that like there were a couple of turns there where I just like did not expect them to like e-speed certain things. And then like on turns where I thought I was gonna lose, they didn't e-speed things that I thought they're, like they just e-speeded like the wrong things. <laughs> Oh, this is certainly a team. Wow. Um, who knows what this does? I do. <laughs> hey, kids, do you like Murkrow? <laughs> you guys like Murkrow? We're going to keep him in the back. Um... Yeah, and I think I... I think I actually bring... Do I bring Breloom here? Bloom's a little risky. Let's do Rotom. This was an interesting one. This team is 100% just Flamigo cheese. All right, check this out. Fake out, go Murkrow. I feel like we have the sort of opponent that will Aqua Jet regardless of what I do. Hello? Icy Wind maybe? Maybe Icy Wind, I don't know. Ice Beam. I can take that. Don't freeze me. Hmm. I go Garchomp here. Actually, wait. I do this, actually. Huh. I didn't think they'd just go for the Garchomp KO. Let's Rock Tomb this guy. And go Garchomp. And I actually kind of hope I lose my Tinkaton. They really wanted to KO that Garchomp, yeah. I don't think they double Ice Beam here. I think they're just going to side Aqua Jet. I'm faster? What kind of what kind of Masquerade set is this where I'm faster? Hailwind. Huh. Uh, end of the world? No. Not really.
Let's just rock tomb it again and protect. I need Tinkaton to go down here. Yep, there it is. Steam engine, weakness policy. I'd like it if they would KO my Tinkaton. Earthquake, nice. Cool. Alright, so now I get in the Murkrow. It did take a lot of damage, but there's no shot it drops to Aqua Jet. Because it's non-stab, this thing's got low base power. Uh, it's a low attack stat Pokemon, and they're probably just going to Ice Beam anyway. So I go for Haze here, uh, and I get in my Rotom. They may Rock Slide, but it's not going to do too much. And I'm mostly concerned with getting rid of um, Masquerade. Oh, they're going to send in Flamigo. Are you really going for this now? Okay, they're trying it. That's fine. I simply don't care. Hello, sir. I'm sorry to inform you. Uh, you're... <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I, I need to inform you that your, uh, your free trial to having good stats has expired. Rock slide. That's fine. KO the Murkrow. Cool. How many turns are left to Tailwind? One turn. Alright, this is fine. Uh, I just like Terra EQ and Protect. Actually, there's no need to Terra here, I just EQ. Oh, I can't Protect, can I? Wait, that's really bad. That's actually like really bad, now that I think about it. Oh, am I gonna lose my Rotom? Maybe. They wide guard it? Okay, that's fine. I don't drop to rock slide, and I'm also faster than this thing, I'm pretty sure. All I really need to do is get the, like, Colossal by itself. Because it doesn't, like, beat Garchomp, and Tailwind's almost over. Yep, get rid of you. Shouldn't drop to a rock slide. Oh, did he crit me? No, okay, just did more the second time. Strange. Okay. Uh, like I said, I basically just ignore this thing. Dragon Claw. Lamigo, I believe, is like 100 base speed. And yeah, we saw the Ice Beam did... We saw that, like, my Tinkaton outsped this thing, so I know for a fact I outspeed it again. Um, and if they brought Pink Kirchen as their last Pokemon, like, I always just, like, Terra Ground next turn. Actually, I should just Terra Ground here, technically. Uh, no. I know I'm faster. There's no need to. There's no need to. I, I would... The reason I'm not Terra Grounding is because I take less damage from Flare Blitz now. If they decide to go for it, which I believe is their best move. Yeah, don't burn me. I'll cry. Nice. And like I said, I can basically just ignore this thing. Please be like Pink Urchin or something stupid. Golden Go. Okay, we're fine. They are, Wait, did they already Terra? They m Listen, I can lose if they, if they Terra anything but Steel. If they tear anything but steel, I lose, actually. That's really sad. I actually might have thrown this game <laughs> by switching in the Murkrow so early. 
Please, sir, be Terra Steel. Or maybe just don't Terra. Sir, I implore you, just don't Terra. And also don't be Scarf. Okay, you better be Terra Steel. Please be Terra Steel. It's optimal. Trust me, it's optimal. Okay, okay. This is winnable. I have to, like, m I, this has to KO. Don't be Scarf. Come on. Don't live this. Okay, we won. I was like, listen, if I lost to that after knowing exactly what it was supposed to do, but switching in on one stray Ice Beam, I would have been really upset. We're good, though. Okay, sweet. Not bad. Not bad tonight. We we got some decent games, I guess. You know, we... we uh, <laughs> there, was, there was one weird game, and, like, this last game was a little bit gimmicky, but, like, it was really... We saw some cool stuff tonight. We saw some cool stuff, which is all you can really ask for in the ladder. But, yeah, that's going to be it for the battling section of today's stream. If you're watching on YouTube... Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications and such, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.